At this time, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of uh, um, favor of the proposal? And if so, please come forward. Come forward. Good evening, members. Uh, my name is Dan Buckholder. I've been a uh, resident of San Leandro since 1989. I've known Dan Billman in business for most of that period of time, I think. And he's been gradually expanding what kind of business operations he has. But the Mr. last couple of Mr. years... Mr. Buckholder, could you state your address and oh, can you sign it? Pardon me. Uh, Dan Buckholder again, uh, 695 Dowling Boulevard, San Leandro, 94577. Thank you. So just continuing, um, uh, Mr. Dillman has become very active in the community. I know he's, uh, I believe, on the board of the uh, Business Association of South San Leandro. And he has been working hard to uh, uh, build bridges between businesses in the area. And anything that uh, supports the health of his business, I think, is going to uh, you know, energize the uh, surrounding community and businesses. And so I would ask that he be given a fair amount of leeway and some of the things he's asked for and some of the adjustments to the uh, program as originally uh, put forward by staff. And just, just basically uh, encouraging him to go on doing what he's doing and building bridges between businesses and uh, bring more vitality to the area. Thank you. Charles Gilchrist, President, Helsing Foothill Homeowners Business Association of South San Leandro. Your, your address, Mr. Gilchrist? Uh, 1271 Terra Avenue. Thank you. Speaking for the homeowners, we've taken several actions in regard to Mr. Dillon's application. Last year, our board concluded that the original restrictions limiting him only to movies were too restrictive and hoping that you would loosen the requirements. At our recent June meeting, after a spirited discussion involving Dan, our Mayor Emeritus, and several other people, we passed a general resolution of support. We were leaving all the details of the conditions to you, but again, the, uh, the association as a whole felt that the previous restrictions were too, uh, were too restrictive. We communicated uh, earlier to the city and we'll make this a formal request. Please get rid of the 70s era signs that limit stopping after 9.30. Their effect, whether someone's going to Prince Dim Sum or to the theater, if they think they might not be out by 9.30, they're tending to park on the side streets. And there are some side streets like Lillian and others that for the first few spaces also have those signs so it's not just East 14th and Bancroft. We feel they've outlived their usefulness and the residents would, well we recognize that legally we have no right to park in front of our own homes and residential streets are public parking too. We would encourage you to make uh, parking for patrons of the businesses accessible as close to the businesses as possible. Uh, in regards to uh, Basil, Business Association of South San Leandro has recognized Dan as a beneficial presence in this community that's tried to interact with the other businesses. He's had uh, after event parties at various restaurants giving publicity to uh, Tuscany Bar and Grill, Ricky's and others, and I know he's, uh, he's hoped to engage, uh, engage uh, Mr. Galvin's uh, shuttle bus service or to do deals with Shelly's and Chevy's and the Bay Fair restaurants where people would get a discount for dining and then could then be shoveled up to the theater. So as far as a business perspective, he's a uh, good member of the community. Our one caveat is we want the South Area Plan respected. Our, our founding members from uh, Serlene Grant to our first president, Greg Morat, 
Greg Romano, Marina Fish, to Karen Van Vlaan of Gray Wolf Books, spent a year and a half crafting the South Area Plan, which put some of the limits on the hours of businesses into place at a time in, when the uh, theater was dark before Dan had purchased it. But, but also the South Area Plan, as approved by the council, recognized the area around the Val as the theater district. So there is council policy encouraging the use of that theater. So we hope you find the way to expand that use. Um, as a board member back in 2009, regardless of what happened in subsequent negotiations with staff, I clearly remember that Mr. Dillman stood at this microphone and after we passed those original conditions of usage said he had no problem complying with them and the minutes even show that he agreed to be cooperative with litter sweeps and uh, other, other things. So regardless of how combative tonight's presentation was and how, uh, how you guys who were sitting there might remember, also remember that Dan initially promised to be a supportive community member and that many segments of the community <clears throat> do appreciate the expanded uses of the theater. Thank you for your time. Hi, my name is Patrick Badenay. I live at 3276 Barlow Drive in Castro Valley. And I'm a customer at the Bell Theater. I love the theater. And I have a passion for San Leandro and a connection with San Leandro because I work in San Leandro. I've worked here for 20 years and I bought my first house in San Leandro at the age of 11 with paper route money on Gardner Boulevard and I still have that house. And so, but what I like about the Val Theater is I feel it's a landmark, it's an historic theater and I think it needs all of our help to continue and I appreciate what the owners are doing there. They're not making a lot of money. They love the theater, that's why they bought it. And I want to tell you my experience, I go about twice a month to watch a movie. And I want to tell you how that relates to having live music and comedy and so forth at the theater. Um, when you walk in the theater, you walk into the 50s and the 60s. And it's another world. And when you sit down, you watch an old movie. And that's mainly what they play, because I don't think they can afford the first round of movies. But you go in an atmosphere, a beautiful room with old seats. They don't have cup holders on the seats, you know. But you sit there, and you, you go back and feel like you're in 1950s and 60s, and you're watching a movie of that era. And the same with music. If they had music, I was raised, my father played Dixieland music, and there's swing music, jazz, all types of music. If you're sitting in the theater with that atmosphere, beautiful paintings on the wall, the inside is an original shape, everything's been restored in the lobby and the outside, you just, it just takes you back to another time and lets you appreciate the music even more and the experience. I was talking to my family recently and I was trying to tell them why I go there, why I like it, why I love it. And I couldn't find the words. My 15-year-old niece said, you go there for the experience. <coughs> that, that's what it is. I think that should be their motto, their slogan. But, um, so I hope, I think the answer would be to give the owner of the theater everything they're asking for and to try it for six months, review it, maybe a year, review it, and, and see how it works out. I really think it would work out. I don't think there'd be any major problems. And San Leandro needs a place for people to go to and have fun at night. And the Bell Theater is a wonderful place. Thank you. My name is Miles Bullock and I live on 1311 Lillian Avenue. 
Um, I go to the Battle Theater almost every time they have a movie, showing, concert, I help out. I really love the Battle Theater. It's a great community for people just to get together, hang out, um, socialize, watch the really old movie. Um, I think that no matter what what the parking and the issues are, that really the Battle Theater is about how everyone interacts with each other and comes together to just enjoy themselves. And in San Leandro, I don't think there's anywhere else right now that there's somewhere you can go just to feel that you're safe and that you can be somewhere and just enjoy yourself. And I think that the Val Theater really has that quality. Um, also, I think that <laughs> um, yeah, the Bow Theater's really cool, and I just lost my train of thought. Um, and I enjoy the Bow Theater. They have things, they have, they have concerts, like from this time, and then they have movies from way back when. And I really think that a lot of people in the community, in the community could really draw more from the Bow Theater. And I think that these requirements could um, make use of the Bow Theater in a better way and could have be available for different, um, um, different, like, like different ways and different types of like fundraising and community building and all types of things, and that's why I support the Bell Theater. Uh, my name is Chris Crow at fourteen five three zero Sylvia Way. Um, so I do live near the Bell Theater and in the district I grew up there, and I am very active in the community. Uh, my desire to see the theater thrive is purely born from a concern that not bringing more patrons down to that district every day of the week is continuing to uh, deteriorate that district and cause the blight that is there. Um, I would love to see 300 cars and 800 people in the district every day shopping, playing, and enjoying themselves um, every single day. And um, I do not believe it would affect my welfare, which and I live right there. Um, that would be my only comments. Thank you. I have uh, two comments to make, that's all. My name is Clyde Ortez. I live up on uh, Park. I'd like to make a um, comment on what the uh, lady said. The uh, Bell Theater, when it was originally built, was used for stage shows along with um, movies. That stage was built for stage shows. There was music played in there. There was uh, music recitals in there. There was graduations in there. So the building was not used only for the use of uh, movies. So uh, I, she needs to check into her, uh, her background a little bit more. And then also on the uh, Ginsin um, restaurant, he has all of his employees parking up on Wyman Street. I had family members that lived on Langman. Um, they would have split shifts. They would park their cars in front of the uh, residences on Wyman. They would work part of their shift. They would have a three to four hour break. They would go out to their car, take off their shoes, leave them outside the car, and go to sleep. And that's happening daily. And they are the employees of that um, uh, restaurant. So um, he's concerned about parking. Well, why, why doesn't he take into, into consideration of his employees parking up on Wyman Street also? 